in this morning's economics news, um, the Co-op Bank has admitted its plans for a stock market flotation are probably over after being forced to launch a new cash call just months after a £1.5 billion emergency recapitalisation. The bank asked shareholders for £400 million to fund losses, resulting mostly from PPI compensation claims. The announcement will be unwelcome news for the Co-op Group, which owns a 30% stake in the bank, and as a shareholder, it must now decide whether to hand over another £120 million or to sever its 143-year ties with the bank. In today's personal finance news, record numbers of home buyers rushed to fix their mortgage rates last month as average fixed rates started to creep up from their recent lows. Figures from the Mortgage Advice Bureau showed that 96% of buyers seeking a mortgage applied for a fixed rate product last month in view of an anticipated interest rate rise. Brian Murphy, Head of Lending at the Mortgage Advice Bureau, said buyers are aware that this golden age of low-priced mortgages will not last indefinitely. In property news, Poundland tycoon Steve Smith is poised to shake up the estate agency sector by setting up a new website that enables people to sell their houses online for as little as £390 plus VAT. Smith has developed a new website, estatesdirect.com, which will list homes on property websites such as Zoopla and Rightmove for a flat fee of £195. If the house sells, the vendor then pays another £195. A premium service, costing over £2,000 if the house sells, will send staff to conduct viewings of a property. Using flat fees rather than traditional commission rates means that the more expensive the house, the more people can save. In recruitment news, Siemens is creating up to 1,000 jobs at Britain's first wind farm manufacturing plant in Hull. It will invest £160 million in making giant next-generation turbine blades and generators for offshore projects in the North Sea. The project involves two sites, one will open in 2016 and the other in 2017. Siemens said that British energy policy had created a favourable framework for its expansion.